This is a journal I've been working on with um, December Ember, December of 2023. And they have a bunch of prompts. I've only finished, I think, 10 so far. But it's all I can fit in this big journal. It's pretty, pretty chunky. And you are to create a three ring binder. In the back, I added all kinds of like um, ink pad imitation, and then I made it move so you could put quotes inside each one of those little tabs. Yep, I'll have to be careful to not scrape those off. And I put dragonflies here. So I just finished this pocket here, and this is a little packet they had you make that has the whole list of prompts on here, and you check them off as you go. 14 I finished. So, and that was a printable that they had, but I usually like to make my own stuff. The first one was opening, so I created these little doors open up with windows and you can see the little mouse which is the mascot and he's putting up decorations because it was Christmas time so I recreated the ladder that was in a printable printed him out of course the back wasn't done so I colored him in and the hinges is a special technique of rust so it's kind of has a texture to it and I used a stencil in the background and waffle folded these steps and add a little texture of snow Let's see if we can get that in here texture paste Then I was journaling about the project and how that went. And the next one was butterflies and torn things. So this is called a snippet roll here and it's scraps of fabric and such. And I tore this newspaper title out. Um, yeah, the whole background is scraps torn. And I couldn't figure out how to do the butterfly in any other way. So I used their printable, some uh, gauze that I stained and just put the butterfly with a sky. Of course, stars don't match the sky. It should be just blue sky and clouds. But anyway, that's how I created that one. And here's more of a, the scraps. And the little butterflies are cut out of um, paint sample cards. And the next challenge was salvaged birds. So I salvaged some old artwork and tore it all apart in little scraps and put it together for a bird. And of course, I'm gonna to try to make this journal more all art, art oriented. Then Effie wrote a letter and that was kind of cute how they put that into the situation. And then this page is um, still part of the salvaged birds. Let's see if I can get it in the picture better. And then I used an old envelope with the window in it, where you can see the other piece of artwork that I've glued to the inside of the envelope and the pocket. And then this one. Hard and more journaling on the back of that. This in here. And the pocket was sewn on with scraps of fabric. And then the back was also the same salvaged birds. 
And here is a bird I'd drawn quite a while ago, and she's repairing her feathers. And I just did layers of card stock and then added this tattered bow and a little butterfly. The next one was Selfie in a Bubble. And so I used their printable of the little mouse, Effie, and he had a camera, but not in his hand, so I recut the that to fit in the camera. And then I put a picture of a selfie of me. My printer wasn't working good, so the prints look a little weird. And then I just kind of tattered the edges here. This is some of their printable. Cut out these circles to go with the circle idea. And then another camera cut out. <clears throat> and I've got Effie in there, his reflection. Of course, it comes out of the picture a little bit there, and then me uh, photographing Effie, and then there's tags in here, um, and since it was bubbles, I was playing around with different bubbles on acetate and acetate paper. It does smudge, but it doesn't smudge here, but it was smudged on here. Well, let's dry now, and more bubbles, so you can write little notes in there. So that's a little hidden pocket back there with the bubbles and all the bubbles around the side. And then I had a writing spot here, but I decided I wanted to cover it up, so I added another selfie. And that's also when my printer wasn't working very good. There's a picture I took on the way to South Carolina, and there was a bale of hay covered in yellow covering, and it looked like, I mean, not hay, cotton. And it looked like a moon. I thought that was kind of cool. Then this one is... Uh, oh, it's supposed to be... Uh, it was part of the bubble and selfie, but I just made it a shaker. They had a shaker process that they were doing, so I just made a shaker out of it. And then this one is um, Clocks and Wings. So I had this cool samples of cork um, wallpaper. So I cut the cork wallpaper up and um, added a wristband and an attachment, kind of a rusty paper, and just added a bunch of clocks around from their printables, digital prints, and um, added the dragonfly wings instead of angel wings, because the girl doing this is 49 dragonflies, and she likes dragonflies, and so do I. I added cushioning behind these to have them set up, out a little bit, and I'm recycling stuff. So this was a manila folder that I cut and then did a whole lot of um, collage on here and added the bees sticking with the wing th theme. And there was also a trade that you do with other members. And this girl sent me this, some of her artwork and her little dangle bead. And it's got the uh, little clock on it. And then these are tags I made, and you can write on the back of the tags. And then Effie, the mascot. And I made some big dragonfly wings and printed them out. And these are two pieces from the trade that another girl gave me. We just packaged up about 50 items and mailed them to each other. So this is the back of the clocks and wings, and I just used the cork here and the printable from them of the dragonfly, and then made another pocket here. And I used the bee, honeybee theme. No seed ever sees the flower. Then the next challenge was Christmas meets Halloween. 
So I had a picture of me at Christmas with a tutu on. So I just made a Christmas tree and it's got the, what do you call it? The paste, texture paste. So I made the Christmas tree come down and her hair and gave her a Santa hat with a charm hanging off of it. And then you open the folder, which was something was mailed to me in, and you meet Halloween. She now has a witch's hat on and a broomstick, reminding me of a dance that the girls do in town at Halloween. Um, and then in the pocket is another picture of Effie. And I've been adding little quotes here and there. So uh, that's the printable, and this was one of their printables. So I cut it out and cut his hand out to put on the front. So he's doing a little selfie. And then there's placed back here to write. And this was another letter that Effie wrote. And it was kind of vintage looking, so I put it on rice paper and uh, collaged it. So that's what's in this pocket. And this was a mailer envelope. And it's the flying school. So here's a little broom um, made out of raffia and a little stick. And then this one was supposed to be Magical Creatures. So it was a picture of Balboa Park in California, and then I added a lot of stuff, but it's so busy you really can't tell what's added and not. Um, these little lights I added, the fairies all here, and the grass, and the books, and I think there's a couple things in the background. It was kind of busy to do. Then the next one is Kintsugi Houses. And it's the Japanese art of taking the broken china and gluing it all back together and putting gold inlay in between it. And so when they said houses, I just added Two manila envelopes here that have pockets with the tags inside and more quotes. And that's spray oxide ink that kind of does some interesting textures. And spray oxide back here. And so then this opens up and inside you have the can. K-I-N-T-S-U-G-I -I house. Um, so I tore one of my favorite uh, stencil gel print pictures up and then put it back together, leaving space and adding gold leaf around it. And I thought that turned out pretty cool. Oop, bounce, bounce. I tried setting up a different lighting area for my, doing my videos, and it just would not work. And this spot is a little bit too small. The other spot was bigger. It just didn't work. So then, let's see what we got next is... I think this is where they lost me because it was mushrooms and robots. And so I just did mushrooms and researched the robot part and found how they processed mushrooms and people don't even pick them anymore. They've got machines that go in and pick up the mushroom from the top and um, choosing only the ripe ones, the biggest ones. So this is a little journal spot here, and these are envelopes with tags inside. Let's see. 
So it closes like this and then opens up. And that is a snake skin with some mushroom pictures and a tea bag. A place to write there. And this is mushrooms and moss. And if you're looking through the window there, it's a recycled envelope that I've been uh, spray oxide on. And then this one has this little pocket with the uh, writing area. And that's it for the book. The back cover. And the front of the back.